Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa has received a written letter from His Majesty King Abdullah II Ibn Al Hussein of Jordan, which contains an invitation to His Majesty the King to visit Jordan. The Jordanian ambassador to Bahrain, Rami Saleh Abu Raikat Al Adwan, upon arrival to the Freer Palace today, delivered the letter to His Majesty the King. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation for the invitation, hailing the deep rooted and historic relations between the two kingdoms and mutual keenness to bolster them. His Majesty noted the high level of cooperation and joint coordination on all levels to achieve the aspirations of the two countries and their people. His Majesty the King expressed appreciation for the efforts of the Jordanian monarch to bolster Bahraini Jordanian relations, commending Jordan's vital role in supporting the causes of Islamic and Arab nations, serving to joint Arab work and strengthening regional and international security and stability. Her Royal Highness wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, inaugurated today the family court headquarters at Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa Centre in Hulanea, which marks an accomplishment that aims to achieve stability in Bahraini society. Her Royal Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for supporting the efforts of the SCW and providing a suitable environment for the empowerment of women as well as encouraging their participation in various events and recognising their contributions to the progress and prosperity of the Kingdom under the reform project of the His Majesty the King. She highlighted the achievements made by the Kingdom and issuing of family law in particular. She added that the development of legislation and laws related to women and families is continually improving and affirmed the SCW's keenness to implement these laws and legislation in cooperation with the legislative and executive authorities. Her Royal Highness praised the efforts of the Council's legal member, led by the Supreme Judicial Council and the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowment, as well as its efforts to civil society institutions in topics related to women. She also praised the efforts of the judges, staff and administration of the court. Her Royal Highness then toured the family court, including the courtrooms and family conciliation office and the services it provides. She is briefed on the work of the facilities that aims to achieve the desired goals of establishing the court, while taking into account the privacy of the family's legal issues and streamlining of procedures and enhancement of family stability. She expressed hope that the family court will achieve family reconciliation, resolve conf conflicts and reduce divorce rates. She added that the court could enhance its status as a national edifice capable of protecting families' rights and strengthening the social stability in the Kingdom. Court of Cassation President and Supreme Judicial Council Deputy President Chancellor Abdullah bin Hassan al Buinian affirmed the necessity of the family court and the importance of its components in all aspects as a source of sustainable development. The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowment, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali al Khalifa, said that the existence of a court that includes all legal services related to families will enhance performance and justice, pointing out that family court includes 16 courts will help facilitate family issues. He affirmed that the Ministry will continue to cooperate with the Supreme Judicial Council to explore further initiatives aimed at achieving further progress and stability within Bahraini society. The Secretary-General of the Supreme Council for Women, Hala Alansari, also praised this achievement, which reflects the Kingdom's care towards Bahraini families and Bahraini women in particular. She added that this initiative accompanies national plans to enhance the advancement of women. She affirmed that the SCW will continue to implement a comprehensive national action programme that will enhance family stability in cooperation with the country's institutions through increasing women's participation in the economic march of the Kingdom and providing opportunities for entrepreneurship, in addition to providing legal and social services. She expressed hope that the Councils complete all administrative and regulatory legal requirements to achieve their desired objectives of this comprehensive judicial system and the sustainability of its results, including the completion of a specialised and legal staff for the Conciliation Office in the Family Court and the opening of some branches in social centres under the Ministry of Labour and Social Development.
Under the patronage of Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, the family court was inaugurated today in the presence of senior officials and invited guests. The initiative comes under the goal of ensuring the privacy of the families, ensuring their rights and enhancing the stability of the Bahraini society. The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowment, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, said that the existing of a court that includes all legal services related to families will enhance performance and justice. Uh, this family court building reflects the essence of unified family law. If you go through the building, you will find that, for example, family mediation is really reflected in the way it is designed to accommodate uh, uh, all parties that are having uh, some concerns or having some disputes about their, uh, their family life to be accommodated there and try to sort out their disputes. Gives them uh, uh, the privacy that they need to sort out their problems and not only the privacy you see a place where it serves the facility and serves the end of having an end a peaceful end to a dispute not only this and the final things that this building in fact uh, helped a lot in, in having many cases to be resolved because of the procedures that have been applied in it uh, properly especially the ones that are related to family mediation the inauguration marks a national achievement that embodies the development of the judicial system under the reform project of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The court includes all services needed related to family issues to facilitate all measures in front of lawyers and clients and enhance the quality of services presented to Bahraini families and to the Bahraini society. Today uh, marks a very big and important cornerstone in the history of Bahrain when it comes to laws, when it comes to family unity, and when it comes to human rights. It means a lot to unifying the family, to maintaining stability, to moving forward, and especially giving women their rightful rights when needed if there is a dispute within the family. In 2017, the Kingdom of Bahrain issued the Unified Family Law that developed the legal system of issues related to Bahraini families. The law stressed the importance of protecting families and resolving their conflicts, taking into account the negative impact that might affect the children involved. First of all, we are really very proud to have uh, such family courts here in Bahrain which is, um, uh, I believe, it's an um, uh, extreme achievement, uh, national achievement uh, for Bahrain. This will make the um, stability of the community, of course, in Bahrain. And I think also the child in Bahrain will have, you know, more security. Such court is something like will save the confidentiality of the events, of the problems which might occur between the family. The Supreme Council for Women will continue their cooperation with the legal bodies in order to achieve family reconciliation, resolve conflicts, and reduce the divorce rates. The SCW will also continue to implement a comprehensive national action program that enhances family status, protecting their rights, and strengthening the social stability in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The inauguration of family courts marks an achievement made by the Kingdom of Bahrain under the goals of protecting families, ensure their rights and privacy, as well as achieving stability in the Bahraini society. Reporting for Bahrain International, I am Hamid Youssef. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated his Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the national handball team's qualification in the Handball World Cup Finals. His Highness Sheikh Nasser noted the national team's qualification reflects the wise leadership's keenness to support sport. He affirmed that this achievement reflects the high level and national spirit of the players throughout the championship, which showcases the development of Bahraini sport in general. His Highness also hailed the efforts of the team's administrative and technical bodies and praised the efforts of the Handball Bahrain Association chaired by Ali Isfaki. First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulate His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the national handball team's qualification in the Handball World Cup Finals. 
His Highness also congratulated the personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Berean Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He affirmed that this achievement is thanks to the continuous support of the wise leadership to the youth and sports sectors and the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser in implementing the leadership's directives through the programmes and development plans and strategies that enhanced the level of players and achieved further progress. His Highness affirmed that this achievement reflects the high level and national spirit of the players throughout the championship, which showcases the development of Bahraini sport in general. His Highness also hailed the effort of the team's administrative and technical bodies and praised the efforts of the Berean Handball Association, chaired by Ali Isaki, and wished them further success. The Honorary President of the Good Word Society, Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, patronised today the inauguration of the 8th Children Forum. In the presence of the Minister of Youth and Sport, Hisham Al Jada, Chairman of the Bayan School, May Al Taibi, and a number of guests from the GCC, ambassadors, and deans and diplomatic corps in the kingdom. Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa also inaugurated the Arabic exhibition accompanying the forum with the participation of 11 countries, showcasing children of different cultures and traditions of their country. The Honorary President of the Good Word Society then delivered a speech in which he welcomed the audience to the annual forum and pointed out that this event started locally and expanded on the Gulf level thanks to the support of the wise leadership, the care for children and the keenness to nurture the Bahraini child to build a generation capable to change the future and serve their countries. He praised the initiative of the upcoming Star Award and said it had become one of the most famous awards that enhanced the confidence in children and motivated them to participate in international competitions. He praised the efforts of the participants, supervisors and organising committee for ensuring the success of the event. The chairman of the organising committee, Yusuf Jahnhadi, also delivered a speech in which he affirmed the success of the forum. He also praised the creative kids that participated in the upcoming Star Award and were able to showcase their talent in different fields and enhance the status of the kingdom. Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa then honoured the winners of the upcoming Star Award and also honoured the participating parties. The Gulf Children's Forum made its way back to the Kingdom for the 8th edition of the Forum, bringing together over 50 participating children representing the GCC and countries from the region. First of all, it's a great honour to be here and to attend the 8th year of the um, uh, GCC countries uh, initiative regarding the children and their meetings together. 
So it's a great opportunity for them to share their knowledge, their thoughts, and we would like to see more of these initiatives being taken place. And it's a great achievement for the Kingdom of Bahrain to host uh, these kind of initiatives. And we thank the Ministry of uh, Sports and Youth for their uh, um, cooperation with us. And we wish them all the best in their future um, initiatives. And we thank also the people who uh, govern this uh, initiative with confidence in its eighth year. And we would like to see them more in the future, inshallah. The forum also featured the Arab exhibition, which celebrated cultures from around the GCC and the Arab world. Participating countries showcased their nations through food, customs, costumes, music and traditions. I'm so impressed of today's event. It's really uh, something very new to me to have the kids from um, different schools who have attained and international prizes. This is an, a new idea that hasn't been done before. I had a lot of fun today. Um, I made lots of new friends. I really enjoyed this experience and I would really love to do it again. And um, yeah, I learned a lot. The Lebanese embassy represented, the, of course, our uh, lovely country, Lebanon, and it's very important to participate in such an event to present our country, our products, uh, uh, everything that we have to the world. The forum, which provided a platform for kids from the Gulf to showcase their talents in different fields, encourages social sustainability, world awareness and cultural understanding between the neighboring countries and is one of the leading initiatives and ongoing efforts of the region to develop a capable next generation. The 8th edition of the forum continues to enhance regional skill and creates a culture of support within the GCC and the region. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, participated today in the World Economic Forum, Davos, which was launched yesterday in the Swiss Confederation under the title Creating a Shared Future in a Fractured World. The forum is attended by heads of state, politicians, academics, businessmen and representatives of civil society organisations. The various sessions of the conference will discuss a number of international economic and social issues, including strengthening international community efforts, increasing economic growth rates and dealing with various financial and economic challenges. The Minister affirmed that the participation of the Kingdom of Bahrain in this World Conference reflects its established policy of building bridges of cooperation and strengthening its relations with various countries and increasing bilateral and collective cooperation that would ultimately contribute to the development march of the Kingdom. He pointed out that regional and international developments constitute a collective dialogue among the international community in order to benefit from economic and social data in achieving economic prosperity and social cohesion as well as overcoming crises facing many countries. The Foreign Affairs Minister also took part in a special panel session entitled Finding a New Equilibrium in the Middle East, where current regional issues were discussed and with the participation of Saudi Arabia's Foreign Affairs Minister, UAE's Minister of State for Foreign Affairs, Germany's Federal Minister of Defence and the Deputy Prime Minister of Turkey. In response to questions raised during the session, the Foreign Minister stressed the need for the Republic of Iran to abide by the principles of good neighbourliness, international laws and the Charter of the United Nations and the Organisation of Islamic Cooperation, which prohibits all forms of interference in the internal affairs of countries. Sheikh Khalid added that the region is in a state of constant change, which requires all countries to play the role in developing the region and maintaining its security and stability, highlighting that certain parties work for change for the aim of growth and progress, while the others are pushing for change to expand their influence at the expense of regional security. The Minister stressed the importance of historical and strategic relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United States of America, which are witnessing progress and advancements in various fields. Bahrain Defence Force, the BDF, with the participation of the National Guard, the Ministry of Interior and a unit of the United Arab Emirates Armed Forces performed the Resolve Force Civil Drill in various governments in the Kingdom to assess the speed and level of operational response to dealing with crises. The drill also examined combat readiness in dealing with potential threats. The defence system of the Kingdom employs the latest technological programmes which have raised the compliance level of all BDF's affiliates.
Under the patronage of the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Said Al Alzani, the 29th edition of the Autumn Fair opened today at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Centre and will continue until the 1st of February, featuring local and international ex exhibitors. More in this report with Hiba Abdel Ghaffar. Bahrain's biggest shopping event returns for the 29th year with more than 750 exhibitors from 18 countries to form a 15,400 square meter retail extravaganza offering a wide range of fashion, accessories, household appliances, home decor, cosmetics, food and more from around the world for sale at competitive prices. Bahrain exhibitors as well, we made sure that uh, they have a fair uh, competition with their uh, with international uh, exhibitors and of course this will have a, a positive uh, impact on our economy when you have more than 750 participants coming from 18 uh, countries that will definitely uh, have a boost in uh, the hotel occupancy rates and the hotel uh, transportation facilities. I'm impressed every time, you know, with the quality of the products on display here and uh, I can't wait to come back with my wife on a private tour and do some shopping here. I just hope my wife doesn't go crazy and buy too much. But it's a very attractive uh, fair for the consumers and I'm sure it will be another success this year. The exhibition regularly attracts over 160,000 shoppers from Bahrain and Saudi Arabia while acting as an important sourcing venue for distributors and agents in the Gulf region, enhancing trade and economy. I'm from Syria, I used to come here since 13 years and I come every year and to autumn show. Egyptian Galabia, it's 100% uh, uh, cotton. Bahrain is very nice, good exhibition. And I have very good customers here. Our product is uh, from Palestine, Hebron. It's uh, all handmade color. We come here 13 times and we sell here honey and sweets and spices. And the market in Bahrain, it's more profit or good business. It's a great market and we do very well every time. Natural products for cosmetics like uh, hair oil, all uh, hair problems. Uh, skin problems like we have creams. Uh, I have something special from Egypt, Sinai. We produce this handmade soap here in Bahrain. Uh, the soap has a lot of good uh, effects. Uh, it's a natural soap, there's no any chemicals. Ten national pavilions were there from Egypt, China, India, Kuwait, Lebanon, Pakistan, Thailand, Turkey, UAE and Yemen, along with numerous local and international businesses that regularly take part. I'm very happy to say that Pakistan is playing a very important role and 50 companies in this autumn fair is a great number. And this shows that uh, the relationship between Bahrain and Pakistan is not only strong, but is continuing to grow. It's a nine-day fiesta of exciting products and exclusive shopping opportunities set in a festive atmosphere for the whole family to enjoy. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdul -Ghafur.